Hi everybody, Scott Fortschnapp here, president of the Jaftex Companies and president of the Blank Quilting Corporation. Today I wanted to show you our August shipping collections and the first line we have is called Folk Garden by Colourpop Studios and it starts off right here with this lovely 24 inch panel. Uh, if your customers are into yellow, this is all for them uh, with these beautiful butterflies and dragonflies, really large and then the nice bees and then these pretty uh, yellow flowers. And then here, I just want you to see the selvage. We have some little, uh, little tiny flowers. So let's move on to the supporting cast. Uh, here we have the stripe, which has those same motifs with the flowers, the bees, um, the moths, the dragonflies. And then we have some uh, smaller prints, a little tiny flower, uh, a little geometric, and then kind of our medium prints here. This is, I would call it an assorted bug print. And then we have, again, assorted bug print with some flowers in there and then another one on yellow with the butterflies uh, and tiny little florals, very sweet line. And then here we just did the yellow flowers on gray uh, with kind of a sketched background with little uh, hash marks. And then we have that same background again, uh, again with another all over of all the motifs, flowers, trees, bees, uh, bugs. And then we did this fun uh, tiny squares with uh, the little bees inside and then the other ones are geometrics. Uh, with yellow and gray. And then we did kind of like, the idea here was to do, finish off with some low volume prints. So we opened it up and we have this beautiful uh, butterfly and just a small leaf. And then we did the dragonfly with this tiny little flower, really beautiful, elegant. And again, the fabric feels awesome. And then here we finish it off with this yellow ground bee. But again, low volume, we've been doing really well with that. And uh, it's a nice print, but it's not overloaded and saturated with uh, designs. So that is Folk Garden by ColourPop Studio. The next blank quilting August shipping collection is called Forest Critters, and it's by Laura Conendick. And here we start out here with a 36 inch panel. We always love these. These are great because uh, they're easy to make a project. You just throw on some borders. Uh, you can make a nice quilt, a nice small quilt, or um, something like that. But look how sweet these little animals are popping out of the trees, the fox, raccoon, little birds, um, little mouse, really cute uh, bunch of guys here. And then over here we have the mushrooms and then they use those same mushrooms on the selvage. All right, so let's go to the supporting cast. The line is not huge. It's a nice tight group. Um, so we'll start here at the, we'll go backwards with the coordinates. So here we have these little pine trees and little footprints. I'd hate to run into this guy. Uh, a nice little floral print with some of those mushrooms and then a full uh, mushroom print uh, all over toss. And then we have the animals all packed together. These are always very popular and really sweet and cute. And then we have the white ground um, all over with the animals playing around, all kind of hanging out together and just chilling on the grass. And then we go back to, this reverts back to the panel where all the animals are in the tree. Uh, a lot going on here, but really cute animals and lots to see. And uh, if you have a kid, you could have them, you know, pull out all the animals and name all the animals. So you could really make it fun. And then again, we have another one of those uh, with the trees. This is a white ground uh, with all the different animals, a, a little less busy than the other one. So that's Forest Critters by Laura Conendike. The next August shipping line from the Blank Quilted Corporation is Diners and Drive-Ins by Jen Bukele. And here we start off here with this horizontal panel. Uh, this is a 36 inch panel. And you know, this reminds me of uh, Happy Days that I used to watch as a kid, just very reminiscent of the diner that these hang out with, hang out in, the cars, the, all the food, um, but really very uh, nostalgic. Uh, good word for this line here. Check out this selvage here we have these little stars, so that's fun. And then we go on here, we have a nice stripe and uh, it contains all the motifs that will be in the collection. So you have the diner, then these old fashioned cars, the jukeboxes and seats in the diner, the cars again, and then it keeps repeating. And then we have here these offset blocks with different motifs in them that you could use as, uh, you know, you could use the entire piece as is or you could cut them out and pick what you want to use. Then we have the little signage with the black ground and those turquoise stars. Uh, then we go on to the, the fun stuff, the ice cream, sundaes, the, the uh, milkshake maker, the sundaes, ice cream cone, all that fun jazz, a nice cute clock. Uh, we go on to the car print on the black ground with the, 
the turquoise stars, the, the jukebox with the, the music notes and the records. And then we have the red ground with the different foods and the menu stuff. Look how great this is, 25 cents for a hamburger. Uh, those were the days, more like $25. Um, and then we go on to more of the basic stuff here. We have the nice records with the music notes and then the silhouettes of the people, including the, the roller skates where uh, they used to wear those when they deliver the food. And then we finish it off with that uh, turquoise star and the black ground that you see throughout. So that is Diners and Drive-Ins by Jen Bukeli. The next blind quilting August shipping collection is called Let's Party with a T-E-A, like T, a teacup, and it's by Satin Moon Designs. And let's dive right in. So this is a black, white, red, and gray. Very popular, always, you know, this stuff always sells. So um, they have a nice twist on it with the party. And here we have the tea and the cups and the spoons and the honey and all that good stuff with tea. And then we have the rows of tea cups. And then we move on to the decorative spoons. And then here's the selvage, a little teacup selvage. And then we have the black round with the little different decorative teacups with strawberries or flowers, um, cherries. And then we go to uh, the, um, the teapots, different teapots with the different decorations, ladybugs, strawberries, cherries, that's on a white ground. And then we have the whole shebang. We have the cups, the teapot, the different tea bags, and the spoons on the gray ground. We have the different types of tea bags on the black ground. We have this nice white ground with the cherries, very simple, kind of low volume, and this again feels really nice. And then we round it off with the little ladybug on the gray ground with a tiny little white flower. And then we have this uh, kind of bias plaid or bias kind of check mark thing in black and red. And that is Let's Part T by Satin Moon Designs. Hey everybody, Scott Fortunoff here, president of Studio E Fabrics. Today I want to present to you the August shipping collections. And the first one we have is called Find Your Path by Maureen Fiorellini. So we start off here, this is going to be a 36 inch panel. And uh, this is a, uh, the gift that keeps on giving because not only can you make a book, but you could also make these little cutouts, these little dolls, they call them finger puppets. So you have a little fox, you have a little bear, and um, another one with trees and little birds. So lots of fun there, and uh, you get definitely some good value out of that. Then we move on here to the panel. This is a 24-inch panel. Let me just show you the, the paw print selvage. Very lovely. Um, but this says Find Your Path, which is the name of the line. Uh, all these different motifs, which I'm going to show you uh, in the rest of the line. But adorable little animals, very sweet. Um, definitely on trend right here. So let's check out the rest of the line. So here we go into the blocks and the blocks have uh, sweet little sayings, cherish memories, be kind, seek adventure, things like that. Those look like they're probably about four by four or five by five. Then we have the word print, find your path, be brave. Those same words are used throughout there. Then we go to the all overs with all the different animals and the coordinates and things like that. And uh, here we have the stripe with the different animals uh, lined up on the gray ground, uh, the wood ground. Then we go to the little cub print, little bears with the paws and some little foliage in there, really sweet. And then we move on to the fox who has, is in a couple different positions on the blue ground with the green flowers or the green, uh, let's call them leaves. And then we move on to this uh, sea foamy green ground with um, little bunny rabbits and mushrooms. And then we go down to here where we move on. These are more of the real coordinates. So here we have some uh, leaves. We have different paw prints on this uh, light orange ground. We have a gray ground with the white mushrooms, a green, green ground with the blue, white, and gray tiny little trees. And then we have a green and white check, the silhouettes of the animals on the white ground with the different um, little leaves. And then we have a blue ground with some florals and leaf, with some flowers and leaves. And then we go back to that wood grain ground on that gr gray color. So that is Find Your Path by Maureen Fiorellini. The next Studio E August shipping collection is called Water Babies by Sugar Lee Designs. And we start out right here with this 36 inch panel of these fish frolic around. What I love about this line, I think it's, it's a fresh colorway. It's new, it's different, it's not just blue and white as it always is for water and fish and things like that. Check out the selvage here with the different little fish there. 
Um, but again, this is a 36 inch panel, which is always great. You could put something on the border and on the back and you could have a quick and easy quilt. So here we move on to the blocks. Those are probably about 10 by 10 uh, with the you know turtle, the crabs, the sharks, the seahorse, the octopus and the uh, narwhal. And then we have the nice stars in the background. And then we have the, um, the stingray fish. So let's move on to the rest of the line. So here we start with this gray ground print with all the little crustaceans and things like that and the, the stingray fish. And then we have all the stingray fish on a gray ground with a little bit of underwater foliage. Uh, the sea anemone, we have those, or jellyfish. And then we go on to uh, the whale print on the white ground with the dolphins and all, really all the different fish uh, tossed in there. Really a great print on the white ground. And then we move to the real coordinates. So you have this little lined up crab uh, in the orange and blue on the white ground. We have the white fish silhouettes on the orange, the anchors on the red with the little pink stars, and then we have that star print to finish it off. So that's Water Babies by Sugar Lee Designs. The next Studio E August shipping collection is called Along the Valley by Harry W. Smith. And uh, it's this great outdoor line. Uh, we start here with this panel, 24 inch panel with the wood grain background. And I love the way they put these branches together. But lots of different ways to use this. You could use it as is, or you could cut these out, the moose, the bear, uh, elk, moose, probably an elk. Anyway, uh, they got the ducks down here, and then you have the repeat of those animals again. And then we have the cute little selvage. But let's move on to the rest of this, the line, this port and cast. Uh, so here we have that moose or elk. Uh, don't forget, I'm from Connecticut. What do I know? Uh, but nice on the water ground. You could see even the shadows. Uh, the reflections, you got the ducks and the nice little trees. Then you have the eagle flying and getting ready to catch a fish. We have the ducks on the blue and green ground. It looks like they're in water uh, within some grass that's in there. And then we have the bear print on the white wood grain ground and these fun little circles with the kind of made out of branches with all the different, all the different animals in different poses. And then we have the similar thing uh, with the squares. This aligns with the panel that I showed you originally with those uh, rectangular boxes and the animals inside. Then we move on to the real coordinates. So you just have this kind of water print with grass popping out. And then we move on to the pine trees and then that lovely wood grain ground. So that is Along the Valley by Harry W. Smith. Hey everybody, Scott Fortunoff here, president of Henry Glass Fabrics. Today I wanna to show you our August shipping collections. Let's dive right in. The first one is Construction Zone by Robert Giordano of Giordano Studios. And uh, here we start off with the 24 inch panel. Uh, this is great, you could use it as, as is, or you could cut out this top part and use that, and then use this a different way. Uh, check out the cute little dump trucks on the selvage. Maybe a little hard to see because these colors are very light. But let's move on. So here we have, um, this is a, another panel. This is a pillow panel. So these could be made into pillows. And again, these are fun. You could cut them out or you could use this as is. And I love the way they added uh, uh, in the border the different signs. So you could use this as well. And again, check out the cute little selvage that we got going there. All right, let's check out the supporting cast. So here we have the, um, the construction trucks and then we have the cement trucks. These are really cool. I like them because they're red, white, and blue. Uh, these could be Americana, which is kind of cute uh, on the white ground. And then we kind of have the all over with all the different vehicles and uh, the warning signs and the cones. And then we move on to another all, all over that says construction zone. We have it in blue and red with the different tractors and dump trucks and garbage trucks and the little cones and uh, little warning signs. So here we move on to a word print with lots of great words here uh, related to this subject. And then we have some different signs and then we finish it off with this gray ground uh, tread mark from the wheels of the car. So that is Construction Zone by Bob Giordano. The next August shipping collection for Henry Glass Fabrics is called Water Lily Magic and it's by Jan Mott. And here we go, let's dive right in. So great blue and yellow and green collection. Uh, we start with this 24 inch panel. And again, it has lots of different uh, size blocks that you could cut out or you could just use this as one whole piece. So you have these nice squares and then you have this nice rectangle. Uh, and then down here on the selvage, you could see the cute little lily pads. And then we go to another 24 inch panel with the crane bird, uh, beautiful with the lily pads and the the little yellow flowers. And down here we have these 
these lovely blue flowers with the dragonflies. It's really uh, a lovely line. So let's go on. Uh, we have the stripe. So this is gonna tie in those same motifs, the bugs, the lily pads, um, all those same colors and the blue and yellow and green. And again, we move on to the lily pads with the blue dragonflies on this like a light orange ground. We have a, a blue ground with little swirls and the yellow dragonflies. We have the yellow ground with the white swirls and the blue dragonflies. Then we have a, just like an all over scenic with the, the, all the flowers and the lily pads with the flowers on top. We did a tiny print, a small orange dragonfly on an, on an orange ground with little swirlies. We did uh, a dark blue dragonfly on a, lighter blue, on a darker blue ground with light blue swirlies. Uh, nice little basic. Uh, more of those beautiful blue and green flowers. Uh, here we did the swirl uh, on the yellow ground. This one is blue with some texture of green and shades of yellow in there. And then we did the blue ground version uh, with the different swirls in blue and getting some of the green and yellow in there. So that is Water Lily Magic by Jan Mott. The next August Henry Glass shipping collection is After Five by Mary Beth Baker and it's a wine collection. Uh, not sure why she called it After Five. You can really drink wine at any time. Um, but here we go. So we start out with these blocks. Uh, those look like they're about 10 by 10 on, with the red ground and the different names of wines here and cheese and harvest. Uh, then you have your wine bottles, your wine, your glasses, and so on. And then down here, you could use this as well, the nice stripe of the wine glasses on the counter. And then check out the selvage. Really cool little different glasses with different colored wines in them. So let's go on to this port and cast. Here we have the stripe. So you have your lots of rows of different wine bottles, wine glasses, corks, and so on. And then here we have a, a packed wine print. And then you have these different brands of wine, different labels. You could use that as one big piece or cut it out. Here we have the different um, cork, you know, the things you put back in the wine to keep it fresh. Uh, and then we have that on a burgundy ground and then on a black ground. And then we have a toss of the wine bottles with some different uh, bottle openers and caps. And then speaking of corks, here's a cork all over. Then we have the uh, grapes on a blue ground with different texture in the background with some, some more of the motifs, uh, the corks and the, the cork openers. And then we go to this lovely paisley with the green in there and the burgundy looks really nice. And then we finish it off with the green and the burgundy uh, word prints with the different wine associated words. So that's After Five for Henry Glass by Mary Beth Baker. The next August Henry Glass shipping collection is called Little Ones and it's by Dawn Rosengren. This is one of my favorites and I don't normally say that, I hate to do that because I don't want to blur anyone else's opinion with mine, but it's so sweet and Dawn is really a lovely woman. Uh, if you got to see her video about her line, it's just really sweet and uh, it's just very nice and touching. So anyway, let's dive right in. So we have this, um, these blocks. Uh, those look about 12 by 12 with the different, uh, so you have the owl and the dragonfly, a little squirrel eating some nuts and a mushroom, a little otter, some little um, hedgehogs, little frogs, butterfly, butterflies and rabbits, butterflies and little deers. And check out this fun selvage. She did a whole bunch of different animals on there, which is great. So now let's move on. We have a book. These always are great. Um, these are 36 inch panels. All the instructions are down here to make the book. And it's a sweet little book that you put together with all the different animals. And it says this book belongs to, which is nice as well. So it could be customized to whoever you make it for. So here, I'm gonna pull this one up so you can see. This is a 24 inch panel. We, we ran out of real estate to show it. So here I'll show you. So we have these nice little blocks here. You could use it as a whole piece or you could cut these out or cut this part out. But here we have the little owl, little dragonfly, the otter. And then I am fearfully and wonderfully made. Very sweet. So a nice little deer. And it has this kind of watercolor texture in the background, which is really nice and soft. And then you have the little uh, chipmunk and, or squirrel and little bunny rabbit and little hedgehogs. And then you have the little trees down here. So now let's check out the rest of the line. It's, a, it's a, one of the larger lines. Here we have a nice stripe that has all those motifs in there in the different rows. You have the trees, mushrooms, and little bugs, and um, frogs, and then you have the bigger animals here, and then it keeps repeating. Here we have the uh, trees on the very soft white ground with the little animal inside. We did a little white dot on a beige ground, 
have this like that watercolor kind of soft uh, floral that I told you about. And then here we go into uh, little chipmunks or squirrels and little birds and little trees in the background. Little hedgehogs with dragonflies on that um, kind of pinkish gray, gray color ground. Then we have a gray ground with the bunny rabbits and the butterflies. Then you have this brown ground with the deer and the bunny rabbits and um, little cotton balls here. So really fun. And then we have a little check. Here we go into the really dumb, dumb basics and simple stuff, but we need this. It's important to make a quilt. Pine cones, nice stripe, those uh, little cotton or little plants, more mushrooms and little plants again. And then you have small little cotton, and then you have these little bricks. So that is called Little Ones, and that's by Dawn Rosengren. The next Henry Glass August Shipping Collection is a flannel collection, and it's called Let It Snow. It's by Janet Nesbitt of One Sister Designs. So here we start right out with a 24-inch panel, and just as I'm rubbing my hand on here, the fabric feels really super nice. Um, and let's show you the selvage quickly, little snowflakes. But here you have this baby. It's cold outside, and snowflakes that stay on my, on my nose and eyelash. It's just very sweet, a little snowman, some nice snowflakes here and the word snow, but just very nice, feel good um, panel there. So here we have a, an all over toss, and this has a little snowman and snowflakes, a few words here and there. We did that in uh, this darker ground, the red, and then the cream. And then we have this uh, interesting plaid with what looks like little carrots and uh, little green plants in there, or like stems. So we did that on that same uh, gray ground, the red, and then the light off-white color. Then we have the tiny little snowman with the snowflakes on the uh, dark blue ground and then on the cream ground and then on the light gray ground and then we have these lovely snowflakes on the red, on the, the dark gray, and then on the cream. And then we go on to we, we have the little stars, just a little uh, geometric. Uh, we did it on this get this orange ground and then green and then the white and cream with blue. Really nice. I like that one a lot. And then we did some dots. So green ground dot, green ground with blue, red and white dots, uh, dark blue ground with red, green and white dots, and then the cream ground with red, green and white dots. So that's Let It Snow by One Sister Designs.